How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. This is the Windshine Sleep Trainer Clock. Typical alarm clocks will ring a certain time in the morning. This sleep trainer clock will flash various icons over here as well as turn on the lights on the top. And it'll flash these for a period of time to show your child that, oh, it's about time to go to sleep. And the same thing for waking up, of course, if it's flashing and they're sleeping, they might not actually see it. So you can actually combine this with an audible alarm clock as well. It does other things too, such as count up or down timers and seven different kinds of ambient soothing sounds. Let me unbox this and show you the functionality. The bottom has little rubber feet right here. They look like cat feet. The top has two cat ears, kind of rubbery, it's soft. Same thing on the other side. USB-C cable and a five watt, one amp USB adapter. Here are the instructions. Pause it to see more. The USB-C cable that comes with it is approximately four feet, eight inches long. This is nice that it's a little bit longer than usual USB cord. It's not battery powered, so you do have to keep it plugged in. With it on, it does consume about 4.7 watts of power. If I turn off the light, I can even turn the ears different colors. This brighter color just kind of color changes. It has a lot of twinkling stars, a sleeping girl, a moon over here. There's a time in 12 or 24 hour format as well as the day of the week. There's also the temperature that you can change between Celsius or Fahrenheit. During the day, it switches to a different set of icons. It has a sun, a little boy, and two wind turbines that are spinning. You can change the intensity of the light on top by pressing the snooze button. This is the lowest, second, third, and then off. The temperature sensor is here and there's also a mic input here. There are eight buttons in the back. Each button can do two different things depending on if you just click it once or click and hold it. Alarm one, two, time, sun or moon mode, volume plus minus sound and snap on, off and light. Turn alarm one on, turn alarm two on, turn each one of them off by clicking them once like so. The third time button, you can change the brightness of the front display in four levels. This is the highest, second, third, and finally it's off. You can also turn on and off the sun and moon icons. Push the button to turn it off, it'll say OF, and if you don't like those icons, those will be turned off. Volume down. Play seven different kinds of sleep sounds with this button. This is like a bird. A slow playing piano. Sounds like a rumbling fan. Another type of piano playing. This sounds almost like rain or a typewriter. This is more like a higher flow of rain and another piano playing. And then back to one. If you wanna turn it off, just push the off button and it'll turn off the sounds. Pressing this button once will also turn on the cat ear lights. First level, second level, third level, fourth level. There are five different kinds of lighting effects that you can do on the ears. This is the first one, which is a solid sort of orangey look. This is the second one, which is kind of like a cool blue. The third one is kind of like a purple. The fourth one, it's a light blue. The fifth one, it changes from blue to purple and it kind of fades into different colors. We can set the audible alarm clock by pressing and holding the first button, alarm one, press and hold. And then we can set the time, let's say 8 a.m., press it again to get to the minutes. You push plus or minus here to change the minutes. We'll go minus one. Okay, here we can choose a sound that wakes you up. This is the fourth one. Six, one, two, three, four. This is more like the iPhone sound here. Pushing alarm again. We can set it to seven days a week. Off on weekends or on on weekends. So that's really great. It lets you choose that. Let's just say every day. And then the same thing can be done with the alarm too. Press and hold the third button to set the time of the alarm clock. Right now it says 847. So if I press and hold it, we can change it to the correct time. 24 hour, let's change it to, let's say 12 hour now. And today is indeed Thursday, but I'll just cycle through them to show you. Thursday. Notice at 1047, the sun is out. If I set the time to, let's say, 
1.47 a.m. The sleeping girl and the stars comes out along with the moon. The temperature is a little bit off right now because I'm holding on to the clock and the sensor is right here. The fourth button will allow you to set when the sun or moon comes out. Press and hold that button, adjust it to actual sunrise. Let's say it's seven. And then the moon will come out around 8 p.m. Press and hold the fifth button for voice control. The mic will turn on over here. I'm gonna be quiet for a while. The front light turns off. So if I start talking really loud, the front light turns on. And if I be quiet again, kind of tapped it and it woke up again. We can also change the temperature to show in Celsius or Fahrenheit. Right now it's in Fahrenheit. Press and hold, it'll show Celsius now. Long press this button to get to the hourglass, which is a timer function. Press and hold. Change the timer function to, let's say just one minute. And we begin by pushing the button on the top. Now it's gonna start counting down. Timer's up, push this button to turn it off. Push the timer button again, and if we just push it one more time, it'll go to 15 minutes, 30, 45, 60 minutes, and then it'll go back to 15 minutes. So you can quickly access those times. If you wanna count up, just push the snooze button on top when it says zero, and it'll count up from there. Push it to stop the timer, and if you wanna get out of this setting, push the off button here. If you just want to power the whole thing off, you can just push and hold the power button and then it'll show this battery icon there. The setting for when the sun and moon comes out, it's also the sleep trainer function. I have the sun icon coming out at 7 a.m. and the night icon coming out at 8 p.m. At 7 a.m., it's going to turn on these icons, start flashing it, and also turn on the lights for these ears. When you set it for the night time to turn on at 8 p.m., it's going to remind your child to go to sleep by flashing these icons and also turn on the ear lights. This trainer alarm is non-audible. It's just going to flash a bunch of lights. So if they happen to be in the room and they can notice that something is flashing, they can prepare to go to bed. And right now it's 7.59 p.m. The nighttime alarm is set at 8 p.m. Even though the sun and moon icons are turned on it's turned off right now it turns off about one hour before the switch over so nothing's going to be shown for now when it switches over to 8 p.m we'll see the icons flash and also the light turn on so let's wait for that to happen the sleep trainer clock is now reminding the child to go to sleep. This is flashing right now and you can just leave that on. It's not too distracting other than that it's flashing. The lights are on here and if the child notices, okay, yeah, I need to go to sleep and they don't want this light to be on, they can actually push the snooze button and turn it off like that and it will show that, okay, it's time to go to sleep with all these sleep icons on. Similarly for the wake up alarm. Now it's 6.59 a.m. The wake up alarm is set at 7 a.m. Notice there's no icons on right now. And when it switches over to 7 a.m., the sun is gonna start flashing and also this light will turn on. Let's wait for that to happen. There we go. The ears turn green. The sun icon is flashing. Notice that it's not making any sounds at all. In addition to this, set an alarm sometime later. This is kind of like a suggested wake up time. The non-audible wake up alarm will do this for an additional hour if nothing is done to the alarm clock, or you can just turn it off like that. For the nighttime one, it's on for 45 minutes. If you guys are interested in this cat looking alarm clock, check out my affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time. <laughs>